Hello my dear WOOP friends. This video and this video description are about removing motor plugs and removing the motor plug sockets on your tiny WOOP. Do you have problems with your engine connectors? Do you have to replug your engine connectors after every crash? The engines don't start well in stutter? Your WOOP's performance is declining. Are you still generally not satisfied with the performance or flight time of your tiny WOOP? Then it's time to remove the motor plugs and motor sockets and solder the motor cables directly to the solder pads of your flight controller. This video should be inspiration for you and motivate you to remove your engine connectors. Removing the motor connector is not difficult. It takes some time, some sensitivity, patience and the right tools. That's all. Problems that can occur with motor connectors, engine no longer runs well. Engine sputters. The engine no longer starts at all. Motor doesn't turn. Motor connectors can easily come loose in a crash. Reducing electronic contact. The plugs then have to be pushed back after every crash, which is very uncomfortable. I'll try to list all the advantages and disadvantages here so that you have a good basis for making your decision. And if you're wondering if what I'm saying is really true then I can assure you that I've been testing this for a long time and so have my WOOP friends. For us it is 100% certain that what I list here is true. We tested this professionally by flying a WOOP with motor plugs and on the same day without motor plugs. We tested this several times with different WOOPs. If you are still unsure then look around at other professional pilots. Nowadays, no professional pilot who relies on good power flies with motor plugs on his tiny whoop. Advantages of directly soldered motors without motor connectors, more power, more flight time, more constant throttle, better durability, less weight and therefore lower disc load of the tiny W hoops and less mass. And less mass in turn means lower g-forces in a crash and therefore less potential for damage. Less voltage say. Overall fewer problems, disadvantages of directly soldered motors without motor connectors, motors can no longer be changed without a soldering iron. The frame on some tiny whoops can no longer be changed without unsoldering the motors. Procedure to remove your motor connectors, disconnect plug, only disconnect the front third of the connector so that half of the crimp metal part still remains on the motor cable. No clean solder flux applied on both sides, especially in the gap between the plug and the board. Clamp the board well or mount it in an old whoop frame or jig without bending the connector feet as I unfortunately did in this video. Plug in an old motor connector. Attach solder so that all three pins are connected. Be careful of the small electronic components at the back. Heat up the pins and rock out the motor connector socket. If one or two of the pins remain in the board, heat them up again separately and pull them out. Generous free tinning of the solder pads on the board on both sides.
Check that no short circuits have been made or that no solder pads are connected to each other where they should not be connected. Turn the motor cable into the correct position. Pre-tin the motor cable. Align the motor cable and loop it through the frame. Solder the motor cables one after the other. Once you have soldered all the motor cables and reassembled the woof, I recommend that you tie the motor cables to the struts of your frame with dental floss. This will put less strain on the solder joints in the event of a crash and you will have fewer problems. With some tiny whoops you can solder the motors outside the frame and then push the motors through the frame. This isn't possible with the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro because the motors are too big and the openings in the frame are too small. If you remove the motor connectors from your Meteor 75 Pro, I can recommend that you also install in 20 Aruban Florin's main cable from above on the top of the board, which will further increase the performance and flight time of your WOOP. I'll make a video about it at some point. Happy flying my WOOP friends!